Is it possible to analyze orgel book line music with Partimento? Yes, let's see how. Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardus, a Musicus Practicus, and today I'm here to answer one of you of the Partimento method. So we have, can Partimento be applied to complex organ music? I tried to analyze the first phrase of chorale from the organ book line I struggled with. Do you use Partimento in order to learn repertoire more easily and efficiently? Do you recommend transposing in it uh, a lot in order to learn it? So, let's answer one question at a time. Partimento can be useful because Partimento is the basic or foundation of music composition. And if we look here, we have some important elements, some things you, we can apply. First of all, at the beginning, let us play this strain of the chorale, Chris Lagging to this band. Here we have a fixed melody, so Re, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Victime, Pascali, Laudes. This melody, this chorale, is the translation in, in uh, the modifi modified, translated from, in German to, uh, from Victime, Pascali, Laudes, the sequence of Easter. So, First of all, in terms of the st style, what we have is a lot of escape tones. Tones that are not belong, that doesn't belong, that don't belong to the harmony. So, also in play, they are not so important. I'm talking about E, D, F, E. They are, they leave the distance, the consonant, and they land over another note. And this is a passing tone with ornamentation, as you can see. So, we have these notes called escape tones, which are part of musical composition you can learn in Departimento Meto stage 1.6, when you can practice and learn different types of the um, unprepared dissonances. Now, in the meanwhile, it's loading, I show you what I'm talking about. Then, let's do a partimento analysis. First of all, what do we have here? What's that? La, sol, fa, mi, re. The sounding pentacord. La, sol, fa, but since the melody of the chorale wants to move up, this is nothing more than the descending pentachord. Here we are in stage five point. A uh, 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 5.6 and we have the ascending pentachord so let's go the minor version here to the harmonization the complete harmonization for example a three voice realization for example we can take this one but we can finish with the mi fa moving up in order to be coherent to the melody. Yes, then you can transpose this to another key. La, sol, fa, mi, re, D minor. And what you can do can also be a connection of all these ascending pentacords in a squint fold. This way. A very big and beautiful sequence. Nice. 
So as you can see, yes, we have a, a very clear descending pentachord in this exercise or in this composition by Johann Sebastian Bach. Then after this, we have a suspension, so what we can call comma cadence. You can learn this passage, especially with a tight bass in the move, in the with a tight bass in the bass, of course. In another stage, which is the sol fa mi uh, stage, I show you. We are in chapter six, so because this is one of the Ghana schema. In the sol fa mi, we have this melody. So when you study partimento, you study also how the bass lines create some kind of structural melodies. And so when you have that, that's those structural melodies, you already know what kind of bass line to apply. This is the very beautiful thing of partimento. You study the bass line, but also how it can develop in the upper bodies. And then from the upper bodies, you can reconstruct one or more different bass lines. In this point, we have the sol fa mi. It's easy. That's why you have to study the part, you should study if you like to learn composition, you have a lot of way, of course, but I suggest you the Partimento method because I made it this way. You study each pattern, each pattern separately, and then you can combine them. It's just a matter of composition. Study one per day, one per week, and after one year, it would be, would be very good skill in composition. Just study, of course, this requires a lot of study from your side, but if you want to acquire these results, uh, you have to study. So let's go, let's come back to your question. We have another thing actually after Fa Sol Fa. Fa Sol Fa, which is the minor version of Mi Fa Mi. connected and then we have fa sol la e with la la sol la fa mi re fa la sol fa what's that this is the camp on cadence so Again, let's go to our Partimento method and let's find this. We are in stage 4, about cadences, count on cadences. Let's take the prototype. Fa, mi, re. Pom, 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 pom. Let's go to the end, okay. It's this kind of cadence with, in the top voice, Fa, mi, re. Fa, mi, with the addition of a fourth voice, la fa la sol fa or mi fa mi re. So in one passage, in uh, how many bars? <laughs> in two bars, because we have the pickup, half bit, and the three bar and three bit. We have three composition patterns. So yes, I apply partimento to start to better study it because it, since I recognize these patterns, then it's easy for me. It's easier for me to know what I'm playing in the fingers because I know how to improvise it and so how to play. They are already my fingers. The sending pentachord. So. <laughs> One cadence, and of course, to be coherent uh, to the style, Bach wanted to keep the configuration.
Yes, and do you recommend transposing it in a lot? It lot a lot in order to learn it. A lot, yes, but don't get crazy. Just set to transpose a piece in one key. You don't need to transpose to all the keys. Otherwise, you won't have uh, gratification from music. Just frustration <laughs> in doing a, such a heavy exercise in transposing to all the keys. So choose one key. A minor. Okay, say let's transpose it to. D minor, so Re, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re. You see. Then, then here we have the type bass, so. In this case, six, six, seven, right? Yes. So, uh, uh, let me start again from this point. You can just do something like this, or only one phrase. You can say, "Okay, let's transpose this phrase into five keys." But one phrase, not the entire piece. Very good. So yes, the answer is yes. You can use partimento to analyze and better play musical repertoire. So study the partimento method. It's all here. What you need to know to better play, to better compose, and to better improvise. Abracadabra. Words are not just sounds, but powerful spells. Words are not just letters, but living thoughts. Words are not just writings, but magical ingredients. Words allow you to learn and understand better, because it is only when you know how to say something and how to name or describe it that you truly know it. In the Partimento method, you can learn how to compose your own music and release the creative musician hidden within you with the magical say and play exercises. With these exercises you will become very good to play all the patterns of musical composition through all the keys and transforming them into your music by adding lots of diminutions. Say the name of the letters you play, say the solmization syllables and say the names of the intervals you play. Start now for free and experience the power of say and play exercises. Click on this link, register your free account and start now your magical journey. Abracadabra!